I'm sitting here with Baymax, and I wanted to show off a little bit of something that I just made. Um, I'm working on trying to make an Alice in Wonderland toy box. And one of the key themes of Alice in Wonderland, as evidenced by the tiling on the floor, is uh, the, the maze that she has to go into to find the Queen of Hearts. So I set out to try to find a way to make a decent maze, and what I stumbled upon was a, a place over at the site instructables.com. There was a guy over there, Mitch01, and he had a lot of cool tutorials on how to make mazes and how to design a good maze. The concept that I thought was the uh, closest to what I remember from the Alice in Wonderland maze was something called the Spiral Box. So what I set out to do was sort of use Mitch's tutorials and kind of make them my own. And in order to do that, I had to first find a way to plot out the graph and then find units of measure to use in the Disney Infinity Toy Box. And what I ended up with in the finished product looks pretty decent. It's a pretty decent looking spiral box, if I do say so myself. Um, what I ended up using was these things called a tall block. A tall block is basically just a tall square. 24 of them can fit uh, both lengthwise and widthwise across this uh, the beginning square that they give you. Now what I, what I ended up making uh, from what I chose for the center point uh, was a 24 by 21 maze and that's what I have in the top right corner uh, where I marked out the, ch the circles as the, the areas that would have obstacles or, li or uh, what do we call these, wedges I guess if you will, uh, I ivy pieces of wall and the check marks are the areas that are open and can be traversed by a character. And to start out with, I cover the entire area with blocks uh, and theme them I this ivy uh, theme. So I started out with tall blocks, put them all down, made them up, themed all to ivy, and then I went into spark mode um, and kind of went along and followed my graph uh, by count and by coordinate and deleted it along in a spiral uh, so that we could kind of wrap around middle area where we'll have some kind of plot device unfold. Maybe uh, a, a massive attack by enemies, maybe you go and you fetch an item and it spawns uh, all kinds of chaos for you. But that's that's later to come. Right now I just wanted to kind of show off the whole idea of the maze. So again, I wanted to give thanks to the guy Mitchell one over at Instructables.com. Head on over there if you uh, have some curiosities about making graphs, um, or making mazes if you will. And uh, thanks for tuning in to this video. I know it was a short one, didn't have much into it, but I wanted to kind of show you how I had gone about making a maze for Alice in Wonderland. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.